Hello YouTube, it's your boy B3. Ooh, back with another kicking graphic novel review. Got a fun trade for you guys today. Batman Beyond Volume 1 Escaping the Grave from DC Universe Rebirth by Dan Jurgens, Bernard Chang, and Marcelo Malio. Yeah, I wanted to read this because uh, I was just in a Batman Beyond mood. I was in a Batman Beyond mood, and it's really fun. There was a lot of info I was missing because I didn't read Future's End and some of the New 52 uh, Batman Beyond stuff. I didn't read any of that. Future's End was like one of the weekly series, and I couldn't afford a weekly series. I got the trades for Batman Eternal, but I'll read Future's End one day. I'm going to read you the back of the book real quick. The Crown... <laughs> The Clown Prince returns. The end of the world was just the beginning. As the future Gotham City recovers from global catastrophe, a familiar face is ready to wear the cowl of Batman once again. Terry McGinnis has returned to defend his city as Batman, and his family and friends couldn't be happier. But another resurrection threatens to destroy all Terry holds dear. Rumors are spreading like wildfire that the original Joker lives, and the brutal crime lord called Terminal and his sadistic gang of jokers are waging war in the streets to prepare for the clown prince's second coming just days after becoming batman again terry must take up the fight against the greatest foe he's ever faced when the dust clears will the joke be on him writer dan jurgens artist bernard chang and colorist marcelo maioli bring terry mcginnis's batman back to the future in batman beyond volume one escaping the grave as part of DC Rebirth, collects Batman Beyond Rebirth number one and Batman Beyond number one through five in this great new jumping on point graphic novel. It did have good bits of recap in it for people who were jumping in on volume one like I was. And that's really good. So I understood uh, that Bruce Wayne was dead. I understood mostly what happened to Terry. Uh, and etc. It even gives a recap of his origin in the number one issue when he saves some kids from, from some jokers. Uh, which was nice. But uh, we get a lot of good stuff in here. You know, Terminal is manipulating the Joker's gang by saying he's going to try to bring the Joker back to life. But he's not actually trying to bring the Joker back to life because the Joker that's on life support in their hangout is actually Bruce Wayne painted up to look like the Joker. So I'm glad they brought Bruce Wayne back. As the, at the beginning of this, I was like, it's not the same not having Bruce telling him what to do. And I guess the author agreed. I guess Jurgens agreed, because he did that. Terry went undercover as a Joker. He's calling himself Trey Malone, matches Malone's kid, which I thought was Ace Mayoli. Uh, there's like a venomized Joker as well. Batman Beyond gets a new suit that looks pretty good. It's got some new abilities and stuff. Uh, I really enjoyed it. There was a keystone thing that Terminal was trying to give him and Beyond stopped him. And then in the end, it is revealed that the Joker is still alive and was actually working as a janitor for the gang the whole time. Yeah. I knew the janitor would end up being someone, but I wasn't sure it would end up being the Joker. But it is, in fact, the Joker. So I guess the continuity from the movie isn't part of this, like it was uh, in Batman Beyond Hush Beyond. So I guess that movie continuity doesn't apply. They gave a new death for the Joker. That happened in the snow with his train and stuff. So yeah. Joker is just straight up alive. Which is pretty cool. Can't wait to see where that goes. But uh, this is a good fun book. If you're new to Batman Beyond books, uh, this is not a bad jumping on point, to be completely honest. I think it recaps... Uh, some of the important things well enough. It's still in continuity with lots of the New 52 stuff. Yeah, because there was no continuity rewrite with Superman yet. So, I really enjoyed this, actually. It was very fun. I like seeing some Batman Beyond. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll see you all next time when we either do the next Batman Beyond, Justice League, might do some Dark Knight's Metal. Not sure. But uh, we'll be doing something, so thank you all once again. See you all later.